And now welcome back to Retro Rats. So today we are in the NEC Classic Car Show at Birmingham and we are taking you with us to have a look around. As you might already know, today is all about the family car and what you had when you was young or when your family, what our did memories. your parents have and the memories. So we're going to pick out our best ones today as we go around. We're going to share our memories with you and uh, we're going to take you with us. And we show. want your memories written down below. Yeah, put your memories down below. And if you'd like us to come and look at your car, give us a shout. There's a Facebook group. If you're a Facebook user, there is a club. It's totally free and we want you to join yeah, it. Yeah, do join. So it's Retro Rats. So if you go to www facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash retro rats with a z at the end just a, a bit like that <laughs> the road and travel club <laughs> that's what i was aiming for but yeah look it up So, for those who watched the live would have known that my very first car was a Mark 1 Fiesta when I passed my test. And I had it for about three weeks. And you might say, oh no, Chloe, you didn't crash it, did you? No, I didn't crash it. I lent it to my dad, who took it to the garage to get petrol, and a van drove into the side of it. And I never saw it again because the insurance company took it away. <sighs> so happy memories and not so happy memories. I did buy another one in the future and my dad kept on having Fiestas and I've drove them and um, uh, yeah, yeah. happy days. And you learned to X drive X in a Fiesta. Uh, the, the later X, the later, 2000. The later X. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's your memory. Let's see if we can find one you, similar to what you pass your test in. Yeah, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the colour. Love the colour. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, me and Peggy are a fan of transits, fan of campers, and there's a lovely selection of transits here. Transits are so multi-purpose, they can be used for so many different things. And that, to survive to this day, 1973, Mark, what do you reckon, Mark II? Coach built, three seats in the front, look at that. Happy holiday memories there. 70s curtains. Peggy's really impressed by the louver windows. It's on both sides. Electrolux original fridge, but with a key opening. So is the gas still in? Is there a gas access in there? Who knows? It's a survivor and it's um It's a beautiful thing. Look at that. Wow, look at that. It's 1975 and you're watching your crisp and chocolates getting delivered at the shop and then you're getting in with your parents to go on a holiday and enjoying these wonderful curtains. Very nice. And then you got a later one. Lovely to see these survivors. Exceptional condition. Just Really appreciate seeing it here. I just want to uh, just want to show you how small 
original vans used to be. So there's Peggy modeling there. And if you think the size of a modern transit delivery van or even more, say like the Iveco long wheelbase. And back in the day, this was the delivery vehicle. There's a height comparison look. I'm 5'4". <laughs> eh? I'm 5'4". Yeah, only 5'4". <laughs> there you go, look. That's how small little vans used to be back in the day. The said we going to pick on our best bits, but there's so much here that we love. That is just worth a, a bit of video time. Look at that, that's beautiful. And this Renault. When would you ever see one of them nowadays? Just uh, lovely. And in front of that. I think I'd be quite scared to have a go on that, to be fair. Peggy nice says we're going. It's really nice inside. We're going to have a quick gander in there. Look. It's for sale. Yeah, <laughs> I like the light. It's really good skylight. That's yeah. a lot of space in there, isn't it? Yeah. That is a Tardis. That is a lot of space. What year is it? Nineteen sixty. Nineteen sixty. Wow. Beautiful. Hold your car together, essentials. Bargain. Fixed it. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, I was just to get sand blows, you know. Yeah. 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 Now, one car we both had, Rover 75. Now, you tell people about your experience of a Rover 75, because you said it was one of the most elegant cars you ever it, drove. It, she, she was really nice to drive. She was an auto as well, so she was very smooth. Um, fuel economy was fantastic for a big car. She was really, really good on fuel, because she was the Tourer as well, so she was the estate version. And she was just so, and she had full leather interior, really the elite of the elite for, for that car. And she, she had everything, and she was so smooth to drive. You didn't. You didn't feel any of the rumbles or anything like you do get in some of the cars. Well, um, my nan and granddad had one for many, many years. Yeah, they had the saloon, didn't they? Yeah, we had the saloon, we had the estate. And the only reason why we haven't got it now, and this is down to you, the insurance company, is the insurance company wouldn't insure it as a classic. No. Now, as a, as a couple of years ago, but now. So we sold it to a good friend who, I who had it for quite a few years. Yeah, so, he did. So I went to the right place, we're quite pleased. But I'm just going to show you the 75s that they got on display here. On a tea plate, this is going to be a very early one. I think they came out 96, 97 was the prototype. Followed from the, the name, the 75 that the Rover had used many, many years ago, previously. And, um, to compete with the, the same market as the executive cars of the Jaguar and I think they did a very good job it's the MG badged was it a ZT version? V6 very nice luxury cars lovely interior in that one loads of room they genuinely were lovely cars or are lovely cars Peggy had just said to me that I don't like all the cars. <gasps> but I've never driven them, so how can I say I like them? So that's her genuine reason. Is she hasn't driven a car, so she doesn't know if she likes it. Exactly. And so... I was surprised. So can you help Peggy and myself? Because I just love a day out. Yeah. If you've got something you want us to drive, then to let fair, Peggy like your car. To be fair, Moggy Biners. Yes, we own one. 
but I did drive one first before we actually said yes we're gonna get one because I drove it and I was like actually this is quite a nice car to drive it's got the nice steering wheel the, the smell come on the old car smell so of course that's why we got one in the end because I have finally driven one so if you've got a car that you think I've not driven and believe me there's a lot then uh, more of a challenge to see if I haven't driven one. <laughs> send us a message and see if, we, to see if you allow us to uh, to drive one. I promise I will be careful. So back to uh, cars of your childhood. The Triumph. My dad had a Triumph. And uh, many hours sat in the back seat looking out the window. I better tell the owner you're doing that. She's busy. She's busy. She's busy. She's there. <laughs> hey, if you haven't seen this channel, where have you been? <laughs> Alex's is assets. Yes. Yes. Link at the top. Yeah, Peggy put a link in the Hi. top. <laughs> and below. Have you seen Jesse? I've been, oh, sorry, I've been, oh, I was rude, I went over and... Oh, rude. <laughs> Peggy's been sniffing Jesse. <laughs> that's, like that's a new t-shirt. Yeah, is, isn't it? Definitely a new t-shirt. But I like old car smell. Yeah, She's got that smell. I know you've got the windows open, so it's, 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 it's diluted it a bit. Yeah, but, but she has got the old car smell. Yeah. So as I have mentioned, in the garage is a 96 sidewalk which I was going to buy and thoroughly enjoy. But I opened the garage door, my brother saw it and fell in love and goes, I want that. And I'm hoping it can look like wonderful like that one day because he will put his mark on it. But I've got to do a lot of work, which I'll be putting on the channel before I hand over the keys. Um, so me and Peggy still got the Clubman Estate, Olive, which I'll be also doing a lot of work on. And she'll have a special respray next year as well. So there's a lot of exciting stuff coming on the channel. Well, I'm just talking here now, so you can just love these uh, minis, because who doesn't love a mini? But Peggy, as much as I love of the classics, Peggy's drawn to the wonderful, wonderful people at the Y register, and they are missing the yellow mini, and that's my fault, because I must get my ass in gear and get the yellow one done. As a kid, my friend was Craig, and uh, me and Craig used to hang out, and used to ride our bikes and run through the woods and do go make dens and all sorts. And sadly, Craig lost his uh, father when I was uh, little, and he got left a car, which Craig was never into cars. I was into cars. Craig was never into cars. But that particular car that he got left is here. Sterling, an exceptional car, very beautiful. The days before the Rover 75 that we mentioned earlier, very, very, very lovely car. It's really nice to see a Sherpa van. Sherpa van.
So Peggy has found a miniature camper van. I have, a Panda Terra. I think the pocket idea is really good, look. We'll wait for the weekend though. Yeah, see you later. I don't think you're into cars. You're just into vans, aren't you? <laughs> you just get yeah, magnetised for vans. I, mean, I just thought, because of the, the way this window is, it's slightly curved as well. It is a nice curve to it. And then, it's, when you look inside, you've got a shelf. It just, but the way they've padded it, it makes it like it's for a padded room. A lovely side indicator there. Yeah. It's the wheel arches, Peggy. Nineteen seventy one, that is a real nice survivor Citroen that. I like the little side access panels. That one, they weren't clipped up. If you pop yeah. them that are open you have access into that panel. Yeah. Simplicity at its best. One of the vehicles I wish I kept had a Citroen Visa for a little suicide back door. If I could go back in time and tell myself, do not let rid of that vehicle, I would. So I found, well, he found me. This is Mark from Mark on Motoring. Hello. So I'll let you introduce your channel. Yeah, I'm Mark of Mark on Motoring. Um, today I'm actually. Uh, Helping out on the Renault Owners Club yeah, stand. Owners club. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but uh, yeah, Mark on motoring is basically, a, as you might have thought, a car derived channel. I've got a, a bit of a fetish for 80s and 90s cars, but we do <laughs> we do span a bit either way. And uh, yeah, we just like coming to shows and uh, meeting people like yourselves. And it's you know, great, great. We love this. We love we love people come over and say hello, and we can have a good chat. We've chatted for about 20 minutes. It's been brilliant. Yeah. And and that's what it's all about. So. Here's another channel for you to see. Peggy's going to put a link up, probably this side or that side, up above if you're watching on her mobile device. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching on the telly, you have to see it in the description. But yeah, but yeah, Mark, Mark on motoring. Take a look. Fantastic. I'll catch you all soon. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that me and Peggy aren't into sports cars. I would really like, there's two I'd like actually. I would like the old 1980s Porsche 911. Mm -hmm. But I want Eleanor, the Ford GT500. Something out of in the garage. But it's still sports car. we do know oh, of, of a garage where yes. there is an abandoned Porsche with an inch of dust on it and we feel really sorry for it. And at some point we're going to have to put a note through the door and see if we can rescue it. But in the meantime, here's a really it's nice shiny example to give us some inspiration. those flip lights Yeah. 
Slightly unusual one here. We think these are really cute. This one's sold apparently, was it for sale? I love the thinness of the spare wheel, look at that. That's got some charm to it, isn't it? Oh, it's got a nice smell. Got charming patina in it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Very cute. Now I mentioned the Fiesta earlier. This one has only three and a half thousand miles from new. Come and have a look. Proper, proper time capsule. Oh, there are weeks of polish in here. It's time to go back in time. I think you've got that wrong, isn't it? Time to go back to our future. Back to the future? Snipping on. Ah, oh, we're back in Nipping on. My feet are killing. <laughs> thank you to everyone who said hello. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you to all those who took your cars. Hang on, I'm going to put my finger in the way of the camera. I just follow this because I'm trying to get that across. And I only did, oh, this jumped up. 13,661 steps. 13,460. So ah, we're, we're about different. closer today. Yeah. My feet are killing. Aww. So now for a drive back. Thank you, everyone, and uh, hope you all had a great time. And thank you if you made your way to this point in the video. Yes. We'll see you on the next one. Remember, people, stay safe. Stay retro, people. See you on the next Bye. one. Bye.
Someone 